dear viewers and subscribers welcome again to our youtube channel max the service please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon to receive all notifications regarding any video we are uploading on this channel okay guys with the continuity of the last video where we just uh, included a uh, docker compose file uh, here is uh, we have and uh, we also created image we ran some commands docker compose up and down we also uh, discussed docker file as well and uh, today we will add one more service because last uh, in last session we discussed one service core which is a demo and we run it and uh, executed and also access it with the uh, rest api which is hello here you can see okay today what second service i'm going to add definitely that would be our database and third third service i will add front end so i will also present you architecture diagram today i'm just uh, going to add uh, another service okay which is db you can see I made few changes which are not uh, uh, any specific to environment just I revert uh, MySQL to latest uh, 8.0 and uh, I change the name of container name MySQL DB uh, we will be using DB uh, uh, dash container so that this, this is something like professional way so I used restart always because uh, sometime when our application uh, get any exception and need to restart it will always get restarted and uh, database is same name and I also had included networks uh, so that these two services uh, should communicate on the same network and uh, here you can see I have same name core container and uh, also I added version with this uh, uh, image and uh, also uh, uh, I added depends on so under depends on remember that we have to use uh, service name and uh, one more thing which is very very important please don't forget to add here uh, local replace local host with your container name okay so here is your container name because your application this core service will connecting to database which is running on mysql db container okay if container name is abc then you must be uh, uh, placing here abc mostly developers do the this mistake and get confused okay why i'm not going to get uh, uh, any issue with connection to the database while it is running on my local machine because when we run on local machine here you can see we have local host then port and db name here uh, please uh, don't forget to mention uh, your container instead of uh, localhost so i'm going to run this container uh, with docker compose okay now i have to check with the container should be running Ooh, great here you can see uh, here is a uh, core container and here my sql db container okay here is it uh, uh, we are using mysql 8.0 and our application version at v 1.0 we can change it as well uh, but remember that this image is downloaded from docker hub this is running in in docker not on our local machine because i have stopped this service here you can see mysql it is not working not running i have stopped if i will keep running it then i have to change uh, the port and uh, configuration so that i can uh, communicate with uh, mysql running on the docker not on the local my local machines okay so uh, another thing uh, we have to uh, get the results same results first uh, i have to check i already uh, we already added uh, one record with ali 
so let me check either we can get that one or not who great here you can see that uh, here is uh, Ali available and uh, now I am going to uh, guys remember that it is running on uh, your containers are running actually not anything on your local machine it is we have docker engine running on WSL and those containers are communicating with each other our core API and databases now I'm going to change Shahid Abbasi Shahid at the Gmail so I'm going to add this one so that I will be able to get both results because I am using uh, users get yeah you can see here we have Shahid and Ali available here as well so congratulations guys we have uh, successfully implemented docker compose with spring boot uh, and we have added another service which is uh, uh, database and uh, in next session we will be adding UI and instead of uh, uh, accessing these results from this uh, REST API uh, Postman we will be using some front-end application and we will be uh, uh, doing some CRUD operations okay please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet and also do like share in your circle these videos and also provide your valuable comments and uh, i hope you will be liking and sharing uh, so that i will be continuing with rest of the uh, technologies and tools sharing with you thanks